Hello friends, this video on neat reproduction is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us discuss about holoblastic cleavage in more detail. So what happens in holoblastic cleavage again? Here also this can be further divided into two categories. One is equal holoblastic. That means complete cleavage such that it gives you two equal blastomeres. That is the zygote is divided completely such that the two, the, the blastomeres which you obtain, they are equal in size. So that's called uh, equal holoblastic cleavage. Now human beings ex can be an example where equal holoblastic cleavage takes place. So equal holoblastic means if this is your zygote it gets divided into two equal si equally sized blastomeres. An unequal holoblastic quite obvious so in this case also complete cleavage will happen. But the two halves will not be equal. One will be bigger, the other one would be smaller. So when you talk about the, the unequal blastomeres, the one which is bigger will be called the macromere and the one which is smaller will be called the micromere. Micro means small, macro means big. So, but so you understand right holoblastic means division is complete the the structure is getting divided completely but the the output that we are getting if they are equal in size then that is equal holoblastic if they are unequal in size then that is unequal holoblastic so this type of unequal holoblastic cleavage takes place in organisms like frogs um, and amphibians and even lower fishes. So there we see unequal holoblastic cleavage. So here looking at the picture you, you get to see that the cleavage is only happening towards the upper side. So not, not much cleavage. So you see it, it, even though it is the complete thing is getting divided but the way it gets divided that the, the results or the output that you would get that would not be exactly into two equal halves. Now obviously our next turn is to discuss meroblastic cleavage but before we do that let us quickly discuss about the blastocyst. Why? Because we will make use of the terms of blastocyst when we explain meroblastic cleavage. So what exactly is blastocyst? As I discussed before the zygote which is single celled undergoes repeated mitotic division to form 2 cell, 4 cell, 8 cell, 16 cell structure and finally it forms a structure made up of 64 cells and that structure is called blastocyst. Now, if you look at the structure of the blastocyst, it has an outer envelope of cells, which this yellow, uh, the orange colored outer layer, which is called the trophoblast. That's the outer envelope of cells. And there is an inner cell mass, the red colored inner cell mass. So this uh, trophoblast, the function of the trophoblast is to fix this entire blastocyst to the uterus. That is what we call as implantation. So that the embryo can stay in the uterus for the remaining eight or eight and a half months. So this trophoblast will help to connect this or to fix this to the endometrium of the uterus. And what is the function of the inner cell mass? The inner cell mass, they differentiate to form the different tissues and organs and gradually form the embryo, which later form the new, new human being. So that's the purpose of trophoblast and inner cell mass. Now, that side, that portion, that area of the blastocyst where the inner cell mass is attached, this side of the blastocyst is called the animal pole. So this is why I just told you about the blastocyst because I have been using the terms animal pole and uh, embryonic pole, vegetal pole very often but I thought it is good if I tell you explicitly. So that side of the blastocyst where the inner cell mass is attached because inner cell mass is attached only at one end and this end is called animal pole. This is also known as embryonic pole because this inner, inner cell mass gives rise to the embryo. So animal pole, embryonic pole, they are like, they refer to the same region. Whereas the opposite side, that is this side, is known as the M embryonic pole. Or sometimes this is also referred to as vegetal pole. So since this is animal pole, this is vegetal pole, this is embryonic pole, this is ab embryonic pole. So these are the terms which we have been using very often when we talk about the types of cleavage. Okay, so that's it. Now let's move on to meroblastic cleavage where complete 
cleavage doesn't take place incomplete or partial cleavage so this is also of two types one is discoidal meroblastic discoidal that means the cleavage is restricted to a disc like structure that is why the name discoidal so here the divisions are restricted to cytoplasmic disc at the animal pole of the egg so something like this so you see all the cleavage is happening only towards the upper end just a disc like structure is undergoing all the cleavage so can you tell me which type of egg can you very quickly relate to discoidal meroblastic cleavage so one kind of egg that you can very quickly relate is telolecithal eggs because in telolecithal eggs the yolk is present towards the uh, vegetal pole right so the yolk is present somewhere here towards the bottom part so cleavage cannot happen there so the cleavage is happening only at the disc like area which is at the top right so this is called discoidal meroblastic cleavage so this type of cleavage can be seen in reptiles birds and many egg laying mammals whereas the other type of cleavage is superficial meroblastic here the division is restricted only to the peripheral region of the egg that is only like the on the the surface of the egg kind of it's like just the upper part of the egg is the only region where the cleavage can actually take place so superficial what does the word superficial means it means something which is on the top like we often say you know that this is a superficial relationship that means the relationship which is just seen from outside but there is nothing deep inside so from inside it is hollow but we see something on the surface that's superficial so here also the uh, only from the outer portion the region is restricted for cleavage and this is called superficial meroblastic cleavage this type of cleavage is seen in eggs of insects thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you